G'day preppers, welcome to another quick little uh, prepping video. Today I wanted to just talk about China and the their government uh, urging people to stockpile foods. Uh, it's a really unusual call from any kind of government to um, tell their people to stockpile foods because obviously it, it can lead to uh, panic buying and all that kind of thing that uh, most of us uh, these days have already kind of experienced over the couple of years. So, um, yeah, uh, probably the only government in the world that's ever told their people <laughs> to stockpile food. Um, and so w why? What, what, what is the, the whole idea of their thinking and why are they asking their, their people to, you know, start to um, prepare and stockpile food? And... Um, what does that you know mean for us and should we be doing the same and obviously the answer would most likely be yes and interestingly um, here in front of me I've got the main ingredients that they recommended people stockpile <laughs> uh, so they said you know stockpile rice soy sauce your chili sauce bottled water uh, luncheoned meat in a can, yeah, and instant noodles. So they're the main things that they've told people to uh, start to stockpile and and keep on hand. Um, and really, no reason given um, apart from just saying, you know, yeah, you should stockpile this um, now. Potentially, there's uh, all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, honest, um, you know, basic reasons why. It could be um, the weather, the winter coming up in China. Um, maybe it's uh, due to the pandemic. Um, they might, might foresee something coming up in the future. Um, but, it, you know, it could even be something more serious like... Uh, um, uh, their conflict, you know, their interest in tai, uh, Taiwan at the moment, and you know, and you know, what they've got planned. I mean, pretty much, if you you know listen to, uh, you know, military people, people in the know, people that uh, analyze these kind of things, they say that you know, um, any day from now, uh, it you know, it's quite possible China would want to might look at. Um, trying to take over the Taiwan and, um, you know, and, and, you know, Taiwanese people would lose their freedoms as, as much because, you know, they're a, just a normal society, just like, you know, most of us in the Western world. And, uh, and uh, yeah, they don't want to be ruled by the Chinese communist go governments and so on. So, you know, I'm not really up to it, you know, like as far as, you know, what the real story is. And, you know, basically, it doesn't really affect me right now, but it po quite possibly could, especially here in Australia. You know, it's a bit of a concern if uh, Australia uh, look to uh, get involved in, in that. And I'm not sure that that's probably a good idea that um, Australia gets involved in Chinese, Taiwanese relations and, uh, you know, um, because... You know, you've got to sort of balance out the 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 benefits to you know the disadvantages, and uh, I think there's a lot more disadvantage for Australia um, to get involved, and same with America. Um, and so I, I don't think Australia and America will get involved too much because I just don't think it's worth the possible consequences, and uh, so. But, you know, I'm not a political guy, so, you know, this channel is not political at all. So, um, yeah, it's just a free freestyle um, thought process. You know, that's basically it, you know. So, I just found it interesting that the Chinese uh, Minister of Commerce uh, put out a, a, you know, a memo to, you know, all the people of China to start stockpiling. And I found these... Uh, particular six ingredients quite interesting because okay obviously a lot of these things are their uh, their staples the you know it's things that they um, you know 
rice is basically you know number one and, and uh, instant noodles is something that uh, keeps them going high in carbs and all that kind of thing they, they love that uh, lunch and meats well you know for us spam I, I even have an Asian version of a luncheon pork um, which I find it's pretty okay and uh, certainly great for a emergency preparation kind of situation um, I wouldn't eat this every day because you know anything like in a can like this is quite high in salt and all that but uh, geez you know if we're in a, in a any kind of uh, SHTF situation uh, this would be a godsend you know uh, actually having to chew on a bit of meat you know even though it's not a um, you know I fill it steak it's <laughs> it's it'll be good enough um you know and obviously bottled water makes sense uh it, for every prepper is to have a, a decent stock of bottled water for all kinds of possible emergencies uh you know and obviously the uh, chinese and a lot of asians like their uh, soy sauces so um and chili sauces you know just to um, make their their basic meals quite tastier you know you got your rice lunch and meat there's a meal there some condiments and fresh water you know or the same thing with the the meats and you've got your uh, uh noodles and as you can see on the packet of this noodles you'll see a fried egg and that's a, a traditional way to serve this migraine uh with a you know nice fried noodle on top a fried egg on top um but you know things like eggs uh fresh produce well that would be kind of on the market. You know, people have chickens and, and so on, so they would be able to find that kind of thing on the streets, whereas uh, store-bought items and even, you know, fresh bottled water, you know, might be difficult in whatever reason why they um, came out with it. I just find it really in, uh, unusual and really interesting and, you know... Um, and I suppose the Chinese people should not take that for granted and should do what they say. Like if the government is telling you, hey, stockpile your, your, your basic essentials, well, you go and stockpile because obviously the government aren't going to tell them why. Uh, they're going to say, hey, it's just a, they're just saying it's a good idea to do that, you know, at the moment. So, hey, <laughs> so if it's a good idea for them, it's an extra good idea for us. And... Um, and, uh, you know, maybe the Chinese government are more open as far as um, um, predicting the future and or predicting what's about to happen. And, uh, and uh, yeah, they're just trying to look after their people. And, you know, uh, I wish um, the Australian government and, you know, and Western world governments probably did the same and say, hey, you know, we might be in for a bit of a um, situation. Um, it might not be political or anything. It might be just a, a financial or it could be something uh, got to do with the uh, cyber stuff. Um, and, you know, they should kind of come out and, and, and say at times, you know, hey, you know, maybe it's a good idea to stockpile a little bit of thing and even, you know, have a bit of toilet paper. So when everyone's out there rushing for toilet paper, you're not one of those people going there and in the madness you know, um, that, that's the thing. When, when we had uh, uh, certain little panic buying situations, like even here in Australia, uh, people were rushing for panic and panic buying for toilet paper and basic stuff. And they were putting the blame on us preppers, saying, oh, it's the preppers, you know. You know, they're, they're making... Well, no, no, no. The preppers weren't in the supermarkets fighting over rolls of toilet paper. Preppers already had that. We buy our stockpile during good times not during times when everyone's in a mad rush that's the whole idea of prepping is we do it while whilst the toilet paper is in abundance and it, they put it on specials even half price specials they're trying to you know they they it's like they can't give it away and um and that's when we buy when it's in good times and we stockpile in good times so we don't create a burden on other people um, by being in that mad rush and, and going for all the things, you know, we might then say, okay, uh, we've got all those basic necessities now. So while everyone's running around and fighting over toilet paper or 
bags of rice or whatever, you know, we'll just go and choice pick our things. We might get some fresh milk, we might get some fresh meat, some ground beef, a little bit extra to put in the freezer, things that we can't stockpile for a long period of time, you know, and, and, and so we're in and out, um, you know, and sort of out the way of other people. Uh, the only thing the Chinese left out here, in my opinion, is Cocoa Pops. How can you forget Cocoa Pops? So, um, yeah, so I've got to uh, sort of uh, let the, uh, the Chinese government know that, you know, when you, you were telling your uh, guys what to uh, stockpile, you missed out on Cocoa Pops. Now, who doesn't want a stockpile of Cocoa Pops in case SHTF? Because, you know, this kind of thing is fun and uh, obviously you want to stockpile as much milk, uh, long life milk and things like that as you can. Um, but in the morning, you know, you want to feel good, you know, Kogo Pops is okay. Um, midnight, you're watching a late night video or a, a movie, something on Netflix or uh, the late show. <laughs> Nothing like some Kogo Pops and I'll even slice up a banana in it. Fantastic. Love Kogo Pops. It's, it's just a feel good thing. It's one of those things from, you know, your childhood you know, and you've got to have those kind of things when you're prepping because in any kind of situation, you, you don't want to just have your staples and you're just, you know, living on rice and beans and noodles and spam and, and, and you know, your basic thing. You want to have things that actually make you feel good because uh, a big part of prepping, a big part of survival is um, mental survival, for psychological survival, making sure that you actually feel good and just having things that make you feel good, you know, so having a, a 10 blocks of uh, dark chocolate, you know, uh, dark chocolate goes a long way because you only need a, a couple of blocks to give you that, you know, that effect of chocolate and uh, it's very satisfying. It's not as addictive as the milk chocolate where you just, you just don't want to stop, you know, so a little bit of dark chocolate is good. It lasts quite a long time and, um, you know, just feel good things. So I yeah I just thought I'd just do a quick little video here on on um, on this latest news that's you know a few weeks ago or whatever it was I've been meaning to do this video just talk about the Chinese people and uh, uh, or the Chinese government that in particular the the Ministry of uh, Commerce um, coming out and doing this it's a very unusual and so um, we don't sort of. Uh, you know, if you're a prepper, we don't laugh about it or uh, ignore it. We know, um, you know, that it's uh, most likely a, a, a real reason to uh, stockpile. And so we continue to do, you know, to continue to stockpile, continue to build our pantries and um, not take things for granted, you know. And uh, uh, like I've probably mentioned, I'm a specials buyer, so I buy even bottled water. I buy it when the cases are half price. They'll have a sale every couple of months or so. And that's when I buy bottled water. So I get it, you know, you get it really cheap. It's, it's you know, really, really cheap. And um, I even rotate my bottled water. Uh, so I like to keep quite a few cases of of this but I'll, I'll throw a few in in the fridge obviously and a, a few in the freezer and freeze them up and then when i'm especially here in australia it's quite gets hot on some days and i'm going out working i'm in a van for quite a few hours doing long trips doing pickups and stuff and so i'll grab a, a frozen bottle out of the uh freezer and i'll put it in the van and um you know and it slowly melts and it, it you know, I've got a cold drink for the whole trip. And uh, so I keep rotating this stuff as well. I don't just have it sitting there for years and years and years. Even things like toilet paper, I, I still rotate, but not so much. Obviously, toilet paper will last, you know, pretty much forever as long as you've got a, a reasonably um, um, neutral environment. It's not too warm. It's not too uh, damp or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just a, a just a quick reminder: uh, if you're prepping or you're interested in prepping, um, especially those that are, are building their pantry, is to don't stop. Especially in these days, there's so many uh, things that we, you know, that, that could possibly happen, and hopefully nothing happens, and we all live happily ever after, and that's what it's all about. Um, 
but you know just keep prepping and uh if you uh you know nothing wrong with having a little bit more rice than you think you would ever possibly use because uh, you could be the savior for uh, people in your community you know if you can uh, um, you know if you know where people are struggling and you know you can give your neighbor a, a bag of rice you know it's it, it may help them a lot and they may help you in other ways and you know power in numbers so uh, stockpile uh, if you've got friends and family that uh, are not into uh, stocking stockpiling anything that's okay don't try and uh, convince them don't you know uh, you know they'll, they'll think you're you know you're crazy you know and and so don't worry about that you know just all you have to do is just stockpile a little bit extra for your friends and family the people that um think that everything is going to be great forever and um you know maybe one day you can actually help them out and um you know and that'll really teach them that hey you know you you were right they were wrong they never bothered to stockpile they just lived week in week out groceries never had pretty much anything apart from maybe a extra um bottle of salt and a couple of uh, condiments and some spices in their pantry you know nothing really um you know uh worthwhile you know like certainly not enough to uh survive on so um yeah um get out there guys keep prepping stock up a little bit more if you think your pantry is up to its level um might be a good time to to go to your pantry and um check out the the best before dates and just freshen up some stuff maybe start to use a few things you know if you've had spam sitting there uh and it does have a, a, a like a packed on date and you say okay well this was packed like four years ago i might start using a couple of cans and going and buying some fresh stock and just rotating stuff that has been sitting around for a long time you know even your rice and noodles uh, like i said bottled water uh anything you got there if you've got if you've canned things you know just rotate a few things and you know bring up a fresh batch and and and, and stuff like that and just uh yeah just wanted to remind everyone to to keep going replenish your pantries uh look at other um ways that you can uh, continue to prep you know maybe fuel um, uh, heating fuel wood coal things like that um, you know uh, for barbecuing and and all that kind of thing you know just uh, yeah update and upgrade and um, keep prepping and uh, look after yourself and I'll catch you next time